आई डॉक्टर मोहम्मद अक्रम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ईस्टर्न मेडिसिन गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी फैसलाबाद आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस न्यूक्लिक एसिड डी एन ए और आर एन ए न्यूक्लियो प्रोटीन्स न्यूक्लिक एसिड डी एन ए आर एन ए प्लस प्रोटीन्स इज इक्वल टू न्यूक्लियो प्रोटीन्स द नॉन प्रोटीन पार्ट इज द न्यूक्लिक एसिड प्रोटीन पार्ट इज मेनली इन हिस्टोन एंड प्रोटोमीन्स दे मेक ए लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ द न्यूक्लियर मटीरियल ऑफ द सेल्स दे आर मेनली फाउंड इन न्यूक्लियस बट आर ऑल्सो फाउंड इन द साइटोप्लाजम इन एसोसिएशन विद ड्राइबोसोम्स nucleic acids are polynucleotides joined together through phosphodiester bonds they are present in the nucleus the nu nucleic acids have two unique properties their ability to reproduce their kind or to store express and transmit genetic information undergo mutation types nucleic acid are of two types rna ribonucleic acid it is responsible for protein synthesis deoxyribonucleic acid it is the basic heredity unit in humans it carries genetic information from one generation to the next component of nucleic acids nucleic acids are made up of three components nitrogenous bases sugar and phosphate nitrogenous bases these are there are two groups of nitrogenous bases which are known as purine and pyrimidine purine contain adenine and guanine nitrogenous bases pyrimidine contain thymine cytosine and uracil nitrogenous bases sugar Sugar present in nucleic acid is always a pentose ribose, both in oxidized and deoxidized form. Ribose, oxidized form, is present in RBC. Deoxyribose, a deoxidized form, is present in DNA phosphate. It is provided by phosphoric acid. stages of nucleic acid formations nucleosides nucleotides polynucleotides nucleic acid nucleosides it is a nitrogenous base with sugar adenine plus sugar adenine adenosine guanine plus sugar guanosine thymine plus sugar thymidine uh, cytosine plus sugar cytidine uracil plus sugar only in rbc uridine adenine guanine cytosines can combine with both ribose and deoxyribose and therefore their nucleotides are present in both dna and rna uracil combines only with ribose and therefore it is present only in rbc rna thymine combines only with deoxyribose and therefore it is present only in dna nucleotide it is a nucleotide with a phosphate adenine adenosine plus phosphate adenosine monophosphate are adenylic acid guanosine plus phosphate guanosine is monophosphate guanylic acid thymidine plus phosphate thymidine monophosphate or thymidylic acid cytosine plus phosphate cytosine monophosphate or cytidylic acid uracil plus phosphate uridine monophosphate or uridylic acid polynucleotides it is a nucleic acid and is formed Uh, by joining of many nucleotides through phosphodiester bonds in short nitrogenous base plus uh, sugar is equal to nucleosides nucleotides plus phosphate nucleotide many nucleotides is equal to polynucleotide derivatives of nitrogenous bases besides forming nucleic acid forming are the derivatives of nitrogenous bases adenine it also provides high energy phosphate compounds adenosine triphosphate and adenosine diphosphate coenzyme nad nadp fad and coenzyme a second messenger 35 cyclic amp guanine also provide high energy phosphate compounds guanosine triphosphate and gdp second messenger 35 cyclic gmp thymine has no important derivative cytosine also provides high energy phosphate compounds for example cytosine triphosphate Cytosine triphosphate forms CDP choline, which helps in the synthesis of lecithin and cephalin. Uracil also provides UDP glucose, helps in glycogen synthesis. UDP glucuronic acid helps in the detoxification of benzoic acid, bilirubin, and many other toxic substances. UDP galactose helps in the development of nervous tissues. 
purine synthesis body does not require purine in the diet because it can be synthesized in the body from the products of proteins and carbohydrate metabolism the steps of purine biosynthesis is beyond the scope of the syllabus therefore only the substances which take part in the synthesis are mentioned here aspartic acid provides adenine glycine provides guanine glutamic acid activated derivatives of tetrahydrofolate carbon dioxide and atp pyrimidine synthesis pyrimidine are also are not required in the diet because the body can synthesize it from the products of proteins and carbohydrate metabolism also the steps of uh, steps of the biosynthesis of pyrimidine are, uh, are not discussed uh, and uh, these are very complicated and dna dna d it is a double stranded double helix uh, polynucleic acid nucleotides dna can consist of nitrogenous bases both purine adenine and guanine and pyrimidine cytosine and thymine sugar deoxyribose and phosphoric acid uracil pyrimidine is not present in dna in dna the two strands are joined together throughout the whole length of the molecule the two strands of the dna are complementary to each other but run in opposite direction the joining between the two strands always occurs between purine and pyrimidines and not and not between purines themselves or pyrimidine themselves there is a rule known as the pairing rule according to which adenine always joins thymine through two hydrogen bonds a t and guanine always joins cytosine through three hydrogen bonds g c a purine and a pyrimidine which joins together to form dna is known as complementary pair of bases thus adenine and thymine form one complementary pair and guanine and cytosine form the other complementary pair dna contains the genetic information that give rise to chemical and physical properties to the living organism genes are part of dna molecules the genetic information is contained in one of the two strands of dna molecules which is termed as sense strand thus the other strand is known as antisense strand replication it is the process of dna synthesis it occurs during the synthesis phase of the cell cycle replication is catalyzed by a complex of proteins that includes the enzyme dna polymerase transcription it is the process of gene uh, expressions resulting in the synthesis of messenger rna from dna template the process is catalyzed by rna polymerase synthesis of messenger rna is catalyzed by rna polymerase 2 synthesis of ribosomal rna is catalyzed by rna polymerase 1 synthesis of transfer rna is catalyzed by rna polymerase 3 mutations after replication changes in dna molecule cause mutations these changes results in a permanent alteration of the base sequence in the daughter dna types of mutations point mutation it is the substitution of one base for another insertions it is the addition of one or more nucleotides within a dna sequence deletion it is the removal of one or more nucleotide from a dna sequence rna it is a single stranded polynucleotide it is made in in the nucleus from one strand of dna by the actions of rna polymerase the primary function of rna is protein synthesis rna consists of nitrogenous bases either purine adenine or guanine or pyrimidine cytosine or uracil sugar ribose and phosphoric acid thymine or pyrimidine is never present in rna there are three types of rna messenger rna ribosomal rna and transfer rna messenger rna takes the message from dna to our transfer rna only one strand of our dna serves as a template for the synthesis of messenger rna transfer rna also called soluble rna reads the message and transfers amino acids to the proper site on the ribosomal rna ribosomal rna in ribosomes of the cytoendoplasmic reticulum synthesize protein from the amino acid through uh, brought by transfer rna translation it is the process by which genetic information contained in dna is translated or uh, expressed by uh, rna resulting in the synthesis of proteins protein synthesis 
protein synthesis is a highly complex process which is regulated primarily by DNA. It takes part in the ribosome present in the cytoplasm. Four ATPs are required and used for each amino acids added to the elongating protein chain. DNA transmits the information codons of protein synthesis to the cytoplasm through messenger RNA. Each codon is specific for a specific amino acid required for protein synthesis. Protein synthesis starts with the start codon and stops with the stop codon. Messenger RNA takes, uh, takes these codons only one by one to transfer RNA which has anticodon. Once the anticodon on transfer RNA reads the codon on messenger RNA, it gets the required specific amino acid and transfers it to the ribosomal ribosomes containing ribosomal RNA. Ribosomal RNA then incorporates that specific amino acid in the growing peptide chain. This process is known as translation of genetic code. Once the required protein is synthesized, complete, completely uh, stop codon is uh, sent, which stops the protein synthesis. After stop codon terminates the protein synthesis, peptide transferase gets activated and releases the synthesized proteins. What are codons? Codons informations are present on messenger RNA. These are the messages or informations of the messenger RNA coded by DNA for a specific amino acid required for the protein synthesis. One codon is for one um, specific amino acid. Each codon consists of three consecutive nitrogenous bases for phenylalanine. These are two codons, triple U and double U C. To start protein synthesis, the first codon is always AUG, which codes for methionine. AUG is start codon, which uh, will be removed before translation or protein synthesis is completed. Once the protein is synthesis, uh, synthesized and need to be stopped and released, stop codons are um, given to messenger and stop codons are UGA, UAA and UAG. For example, a protein of 150 amino acids requires 150 codons or 450 bases, 3 multiply 150 between start and stop codon. Codons are carried by messenger RNA which delivers them to transfer RNA. What are anticodons? Anticodons are present on transfer RNA. Each codon on messenger RNA has its specific anticodon on transfer RNA. Anticodon also has a sequence of three consecutive nitrogenous bases which are complementary to the codons present on messenger RNA. Anticodon on transfer RNA read the codon on messenger RNA and transfer the specific amino acid to the ribosome for protein synthesis. Ribosomes are composed of ribosomal RNA and uh, specific proteins. Ribosomes are reversibly undergo uh, association and dissociation. In humans, associated form of the ribosomes during protein synthesis have the uh, values of ATS and once the protein is released, ribosomes become dissociated into two components, one having 40S value and the other 60S value. Ribosomes have two binding sites, A site and P site. A site is called amino acid site and P site is called peptidal site. The A site binds the amino acid transfer RNA complex which is then transferred to the P site where lengthening of the peptide chain take place. Post-translation modification. It is the modification of proteins after they have been synthesized. Proteins may be modified by phosphorylation, glycosylations, ADP ribosylations, hydroxylation and addition of other groups. Nucleic acid metabolism, nucleic acid degradation. Nucleic acid DNA and RNA are catabolized under the influence of nuclease. The nucleases for DNA are called deoxyribonuclease or new DNA. The nucleases for RNA are called ribonucleases or RNAs. Uh, breakdown of polynucleotides, DNA and RNA results in the release of mononucleotides. The mononucleotides by the actions of mono uh, by the action of nucleotidases produce nucleosides plus H3PO4. The nucleotides undergo further catabolism as uh, of purine catabolism, uric acid uh, formations. The catabolism starts with 
डायहाइड्रोक्सीडिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिनोसिन
the steps of catabolism are not important to remember at the end of the pyrimidine catabolism cytosine and uracil are converted to acetyl qa and succinyl qa which eventually enters the citric acid cycle thymine at the end of the pyrimidine catabolism is converted to succinic acid which also enters citric acid cycle this was the nucleic acid metabolism thank you very much